Clap your hands to the Lord, you may get seated. We continue with that subject of tough times, tough people. And tough times requires tough people. And we have been trying to see people in the Bible who went through tough times and how they went through them. Child of God, you need to understand that you are not the first time to go through tough times. There are many people in the Bible who went through them. We started with the nation of Egypt in the days of Pharaoh and Joseph. The Bible said money failed. Food was not there. Famine was everywhere. How did they go through that? And then we went to in the days of Moses and Aaron where Ebola struck and 14,700 people died in one day. 14,700 died in one day. And you are talking about Ebola has killed 36 people in four months. How did they go through an epidemic that kills 14,000 people a day? Then you went through the tough times in the days of pestilences and locusts and plagues. Here, 14,000 died in that plague. How did they go through? How did they survive? Tough times requires tough people. So last Sunday we talked about the first, uh, Second Chronicles chapter 7 and verse 13. Another tough time is here. 
The Lord said, if I shut up heaven, that there be no rain, or if I command locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people, those are tough times. Very tough times. They are even incomparable to what you are going through right now. The Lord said he shut down heaven. And there was no rain. When there is no rain, there is no cultivation. When there is no rain, there is no sowing. When there is no rain, there is no plantation. And when there is no sowing, there is no harvest. When there is no harvest, there is no food. When there is no food, people stir. When people stir, they eventually die. Tough times. And then if I command locusts to devour the land, let's assume the rain is there and people cultivate and people grow food. But when locusts come, they devour all the food. Still people starve in famine. Tough times. And then if I said pestilence among my people. We saw coronavirus two years ago. Now we are seeing Ebola two years later. Other pestilences are on the way. Not because I'm a false prophet. Because the Bible says so. Other pestilences are coming. Jesus said that. When pestilences come. Those are tough times. How did people survive? Five tough times. Get a Bible. Get your own Bible. Every one of you and those watching by television and social media should own a Bible. Have a Bible with the name in it of your name. Have a name with a signature in it. Have a Bible with even a telephone number in it. Read it. Because when you read it, you are able to see how people went through tough times. Ladies and gentlemen, children of God, there is nothing new on the planet. Whatever we are going through, some people sometime went through them. Money has ever failed before. Famine has ever come before. Plagues and pestilences and epidemics and pandemics. All these are English medical terms. But they refer the same thing. Pandemic is when everybody is affected. Epidemic is when it is only in Mubende and Kassanda but it is not Entebbe. But still it is people are dying. Read the Bible. So my Bible. Tough times requires you to read the Bible. What did the people do in such a situation? When heaven is shut. When pestilences are there. When locusts are there. The answer is verse 14. The answer is in verse 14. The Bible says, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, and do what? And do what? And do what? And do what? And you pray. The first line of defense in tough times is not to cry. The first line of defense in epidemics is not to complain. The first line of offense 
in sickness and inflation is known to I choose someone. The first line of defense in tough times is here. If my people are you God's people are you God's people if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves we need to humble ourselves and pray. I was telling the people in the first service that many people are choose people being pride. But, but that, girl, that girl is so proud. He has a lot of pride in her. That man is that man that man is full of pride. Mbukubanga is walking like this. Walking like this is not pride. Even if you walk like this, this is not pride. This is a style of walking. Pride is when you cannot humble yourself and you pray. One of the ways you will never know that you have pride is when you cannot humble yourself and pray not walking like this you can walk like this there is no problem there is no problem that is not pride that is a walking style you can even walk like this there is no problem pride is when you cannot humble yourself that means you are not relying on God when you cannot humble yourself and you pray that means you are self-reliant you can say or you are saying I can do it I do not need God there is no reason for me to humble I can manage it my education is enough my beauty is enough my papers are enough my experience is enough there is no reason I should pray when you reach such a time then you have pride in you pride is when people cannot humble themselves in other words you are saying God without you I can still make it God without you I'll even accomplish it I don't need you. I don't need you. But if my people which are called by my name shall harm themselves and pray the first line of defense in tough times is humbling yourself to pray. Prayer is the number one life of defense in tough times. It doesn't matter what you are going through right now. It doesn't matter how much prices sugar is costing. Our first line of defense is to humble ourselves and pray. The people in the Bible who went through famine the people in the Bible when man failed the people in the Bible when Ebola was there and plagues they did one thing they humbled themselves and prayed children of God this is the moment for us to humble ourselves and pray and then seek the face of God and turn 
from our wicked ways. The Bible says then God will hear from heaven. He will forgive their sins and will heal their land. Prayer. 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 Somebody shout hallelujah. Prayer. In times of trouble, the solution is prayer. Ladies and gentlemen, we must pray more than ever before. Ladies and gentlemen, as we are living in tough times, the prices are up. Some of you have not even paid school fees. The landlord you rent is not paid yet. Businesses are not running well. You are not the first tough person to go through tough times. There are many people before you who went through tough times. What do they do? The Bible says we must humble ourselves and pray. Tell your neighbor prayer. Somebody shout it seven times. Prayer. 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 Somebody give God a clap of hand. Prayer is our number one line of offense. Offense to attack. Offense. And defense. No We attack through prayer. And we defend through prayer. In prayer, we are on the offensive. You attack the enemy in his territory. Again, through prayer, we are on the defensive. We protect ourselves from Ebola, from calamity, from trouble. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves. Hey, people of God, this is the moment for us to humble ourselves. Humility. 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 You humble yourself on here. When you put your knees on the ground, you are humbling yourself. You are telling God, I can't manage. You are telling God the situation is tough on me. You are telling God without you I cannot go through this. You are telling God Ebola is beyond my power. You are telling God I can't survive because my salary was not increased. Let prices have increased. Then you humble yourself. You put away your pride. You humble yourself and you pray and you seek God. Then God will hear from heaven and solve your situation. Somebody shout hallelujah. I've said shout hallelujah. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Ladies and gentlemen, people in the Bible who went through tough times, that's what they did. Today, 
People are not humbling themselves in prayer. People are not humbling themselves in seeking God. Do you know why? Because we have many alternatives. I remember when we came to this place 1991 we had nothing we had nowhere to sleep we had no food to eat we were the less educated by that time our church was papyrus our floor was dust smearing cow dung we had no sound system everybody hated us our name Neighbors, didn't like us. Married women were being stopped by their husbands. Parents didn't like us. We were in tough times. We had nowhere to run. Only we are humbling ourselves every day and we ran to God. Now see where we are. Those are the times I'm talking about. Even my, when my hair was still black. That is the church. I'm talking about that. I had no money. I had no $300 shoes. I had nothing. All we had was God. You can see the pictures here. We were in tough times. Dangerous times. We had nothing. All we had to do was to humble ourselves. Humble ourselves. All we had to do was to humble ourselves and pray and seek God to get us out of that situation. Now, see where we are in a glass cathedral. Somebody clap your hands to the Lord. Semo zake chifuwa na nyi changi Bwe mbade mfuka midenga ansaba Zake chifuwa na nyechu Tugene kushadese Those are the pictures I can remember Those were the most tough times of my life I had no smartphone I had no bank account There was no Facebook There was no WhatsApp I was a P7 dropout I was not highly educated No food No money All I had Was to humble Humble myself. Humble myself. Before even the gray hair you see. Humble myself. My pride were trimmed away. I had to kneel down. My pride was pushed away. I had to kneel down. Humble myself. And seek God. That God may intervene. In my situation. In my wife's situation. In our church. Now eventually. God had our cry. God had our prayer. Now see where God has brought us. We can say Ebenezer. 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 Thus God has brought us. Look here, everybody. Look here, everybody. Ebenezer. Some of you don't even realize that this is your church. 